Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> there we go, hungry. They won map, no, map, map number one, and they've only gone and won knife round number one on uh, map number two. Jesus, a lot of numbers. So we are going to go live. The uh, Romanians, the Hungarians, sorry, opted to go on the uh, slightly more favoured T side, like you said earlier on, Marco. Yeah. So we're just going to wait for both. To you get ready to rumble. So here oh, we go. Okay. ESEC 2013 live config loaded. Welcome everybody. Romania against Hungary live on DDoS 2. So of course, if you just joined us, Romania, no Hungary, sorry, beat Romania 16-5 on the test map, which was Mirage. So Romania, they need to win this map to stay in it. Third map will be Nuke. And of course, Dust2, we've said it time and time again, it can go either way. So, ooh, ooh, ooh. Zen Dink Talazi on short. He's now down to 5 HP. Fair play to him, he's uh, still uh, breathing. We've seen a lot of 5 HP clutches before. Oh, oh, oh lovely oh. one USB from BTN. And that could be a crucial kill for the Romanians so early in the round. So, Hungary, they need to start pushing somewhere now. Where are they? The bomb's at the top of mid. Flash is pushed long. Kimo will take him down. It looks like the Hungarians. Oh, they're going to push mid to B now. Let's see how they're going to go for it. Gampson and Foda going into uh, tunnels. Let's have a look at Mighty Witty. He's going to be in uh, for uh, for the biggest scare of his life now. He spots not one, but two terrorists. He's going to nade off the wall. Hopefully, it'll do a little bit of damage. But unfortunately for him, he took no one down. And Hungary, they've leveled it up now. It's Alas and BTN on low HP both. So Hungary, they were two men down. But, uh, well, two men up now. Foda is going to spray the doors. Jaguar were the last man standing. <laughs> Lovely stuff from Hungary. Well played by them. They were, of yeah. course, two men down. They decided to go towards that tunnel area, towards the B-bomb site, and it paid off for them. Well, I'm really surprised that guy on mids didn't actually call, like, that they were going to be. They were running through tunnels. Yeah. Nope. No idea what happened there. Lack of communication, I guess. Perhaps. Or maybe his sound uh, isn't up to scratch. Who knows? Yeah. So, obviously Hungary won the pistol round, which good means they're on uh, somewhat of a uh, weapon advantage. Twistu, talking about that weapon advantage, takes down BTN with the Mac-10. And Foda devours Mighty Witty in upper tunnels with his AK. So, where are they going to go now? They're making their way onto the A-bomb site, which of course is clear. Flash with the double onto Kimo and Jaguar. And uh, typical stuff so far, exactly what you'd expect from uh, the team that won the pistol round. 2-0. Eco bash, basically. Yeah. Exactly, eco bash. Nothing special. Nothing worth getting excited about. And hopefully, we're going to see something different now. Well, actually, we probably won't see much different now. My bad. It is only round number three. I thought it was round number four. So, Jackson with that silenced USP. He spotted. Oh, good shot by him. So. He was uh, up against three Romanians, and I'll tell you what, it's slightly worrying for Romania. It's three versus one, and uh, the lone range gets the better of them. Gapson has been tagged now, and he's going to fall back and do the uh, sensible thing. So Hungary making their way onto short again. It's not the first time they do that. Foda uses an AK to his advantage. Twisty with that Mac 10 kill. And Eco Bash, you know, there's no other way to put it, Romania. They're not really in the game. Can you blame them? Probably not. Now they're stuck at long. Or oh, correction, Jaguar's stuck at long. Uh, and he's going to fall to his death. Thanks to Zen. Who, of course, got a double that round. 3 0. It all depends on this fourth round, like on Mirage, if they're going to win it or not for Romanians. I mean. So if you were This the is the crucial round for them. Yeah. If you were the Romanian leader on Dust 2, how would you want your team to set up? Uh, well, I don't know their players, but what I would do, like, to make up or to take a pick, some, for example, like, boost short or, I don't know, make him to cover B alone or something like that. It depends, really. So, one thing I've noticed is that short has gone really unharmed, and uh, the CTs look like they've tried to counter that, but long has suffered. So, let's just wait and see what's going to happen. we got three terrorists at long. Gabson makes his way into pit with that. Oh, he has an AWP. So if any of the CTs peak, they might go down. But Mighty's going to get first blood onto Twist 2 in upper tunnels. A cheap kill for him, but a kill's a kill. 
And every little helps, as a famous supermarket once said. So, Hungary making their way onto short. Good nade from Talazi. Deals a bit of damage there. He's going to start spraying with that Ooh, M4. Take down Talazi. Two from Talaz. Well played by him. And Hungary, they're two men down. But hey, the last time they had two men down, they pulled it back. So, uh, you never know. They might be able to do it again. Zen only has a Galil. And uh, where's his teammate? Gabson has the orb. Okay. Well, oh, he's by himself now. Four versus one. He's looking for double doors. He got sneaked on by one of the CTs. Kimo with that silence M4. Oh, he's going to land that shot. Gabson somehow still alive. Come on, Romania. There we go. That's more like it. And down goes Gabson. That's exactly what they needed to put their sniper on to be. He was really low HP, there's nothing he can do, so he was like camping behind second crate and waiting for guy from B tunnels to make a pick and that led him to win the round, yeah. I agree, probably, I mean, I think Twist 2 went down rather cheaply in upper tunnels, like you said, and well, you know, Counter-Strike, as much it, as it is a physical game, it's also quite a mental game, and when you find yourself, you, you, yourselves two men down on your team, sometimes that can just make you feel like... Uh, Guys, we've lost this round. And obviously, that's not the right mentality to take, but, you know, the same applies to Indeed. any sport. Be it football, basketball, but in this case, run about Counter Strike, like we said. Right, so, 5 versus 5 still. Surprisingly, no one's had any damage dealt to him. Gabson, oh, oh, lovely shot by him. Exactly what the doctor ordered, and they're going to fall back from long now. So, 4 versus 5. Zen's made his way onto short. Gabson's going to keep his eye on mid. We've seen Jaguar make his way in towards Pit, so uh, hopefully that'll help him hold off some people from CT spawn. And we're seeing the uh, mid to bush begin now. Zen's made his way onto B ramp now. Flash is going to go out mighty witty. All he has to start off, but surely the AK is going to get the better of him. Yes, they are. Zen with one. Is he going to get a second? Two man from Zen. Simple stuff. And now all the terrorists have to do is just stay calm, keep calm, and. Uh, uh, well, protect the bomb, pretty much. Indeed. Do you think Romania will go for this? It doesn't look like it. Nah. I mean, one 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 interesting thing I want to hear your opinion about is that it looked like Romania was stacking short, and that when they got when Hungary got the pick at long, the people who were stacking short rotated to long, which left short open, which allowed Hungary to simply make their way into mid to B. Now. Yeah. It doesn't, it hasn't seemed like Romania really have a 50-50 split between long and short at the moment. It doesn't seem like they're protecting short and long at the same time, and it's made them suffer in my opinion. Yeah, indeed. Yeah. So, 4-1 in favour of Hungary. Of course, you just joined us, they did emerge victorious on map number one, which is called D Mirage. The CT they've gone for a part by, Mighty Witty has a FAMAS, Kimo with a with an AWP actually, and the rest with, oh no, it's not really a part by, just a part by from Mighty Witty. So where are Hungary going to go then? This two's going to get first bull onto Jaguar on short. Good stuff by him. Kimo's AWP in it. Oh, and Twist to nice. run right into Kimo's trap. So, four versus four now. BTN jumping across mid, and the, t the T's, they're playing it well, they're spread all over the map, they're not giving the CTs a sniff, they're using grenades well, Foda's fake the B push, no, I've got to go for it, one frag from Foda, can he get the second? Auto director decides to switch, and Zen eradicates Talazi, but BTN took down Foda, and Kimo blew Zen to smithereens, so BTN runs out of ammo at the wrong time, and uh, Flash comes from B ramp. To uh, surround the CT in the B bomb site. So now two versus one. Terrorists need to pick up this ball, of course. The plan's going to go down, but Gabson, of course, he's only on 24 HP. Whilst Chemo has that AWP, it's such a big gun, it's very hard to, you know, retake bomb sites in tight angles like this. AWP always being shot at left, right, and centre. He's just need the Paris to peek him. And the AK, the rifle, got the better of the sniper rifle. 5 1 to Hungary. All Romania need is like first pick with up or anything or rifle or anything. They need to change their setup to make something happen. They're like playing really predictive for Hungarian guys. So they they died like two less rounds on short, if I'm not mistaken, by so Zen or someone. CTs all on a 
P657 round. And as expected, he will get first blood. Foda finds himself in a bit of a mess, but uh, he's made his way out of it. Not played to him. Not played to the AKs should really beat the pistols any time of the day here on Counter-Strike. And uh, Foda's proving that right there. Oh, lovely shot from Foda. He's going to make his way into the B-Bomb time now. Zen's got a handful, but that doesn't matter. Controls his spray to perfection. 6-1 hungry. So now Romania, they're buying up. And, well, Marco, they've got to change it around. What do they have to do? Oh, they have to push long or something. They need to change... I don't know, anything in their setup, just to make that first pick, and then get back and win the round. So we've got an off on uh, each team here. Oh, mm -hmm. <laughs> lovely <laughs> shot from Foda. Absolutely took BTN's helmet off to get first blood on Dust2. He's been uh, working B very, very well indeed. Zen's on short. And again, we're not seeing an equilibrium between short and long. Kimo, however, is at long now, so maybe a sign of intent from the CT. He's all by himself. Why did he? Why did he show himself? The flash came in, and he moved out at the wrong time. And Romania, you're not going to win the game playing like that. It's as simple as that. Sounds harsh, I know, but uh, the truth is the truth. So, terrorists making their way towards this A bomb site. They're going to have uh, two CTs to deal with. Twist to eradicate Stalazi. Foda pushes mid to be caught Mighty Whitey on the rotate. And uh, Foda will get the uh, lovely hat trick. 7 1. Really nice round by Hungarian guys. They didn't die in this round, any one of them. Really? They managed to. Took, yeah. It's, it's a whitewash, isn't it? Yeah. I don't know. It seems to me Romania doesn't know what to do. They're like devastated or something. I don't. I mean, some people have been telling me it's a mixed team. Well, fair enough, but then again, Kimo and Jaguar are both on on the same team, you know, n normally. So you'd think that might work to their advantage, but at the moment, hungry, they look unstoppable. There's no other way to put it. So down goes Jaguar. Thanks to uh, Zen and Lotus. Talas is going to get a consolation, surely, but he could get another kill onto Flash, who was heavy tagged himself. And as uh, CS is telling us, that round took only 33 seconds, and I'm sure Romania are going to be more than happy to get it over and done with. <laughs> Indeed. So, T-sided map, surely not this T-sided. Come on, Romania, you need this map to stay in the European Championship. And at this rate, quite simply not good enough. Oh, That's nice. exactly what the doctor ordered for Mighty Witty, as he uh, wipes out that Hungarian, another orb kill, but Zen returns it, and now things are getting hot and spicy now. No uh, more CTs at long. And BTN is going to begin the rotation now. Zen's going to make his way back towards mid, so fair play to him. What is happening oh, to BTN on B? They're all, they're all making their way back to T-spawn by the looks of it. They're not continuing towards long. They're going back to T-spawn, and no CTs are actually spotting it. So... What's going to happen here then? Twister will show himself at mid. Hopefully, Mighty Witty doesn't get the better of him. And as I say that, the commentator's curse takes down <laughs> Twister. So Zen is going to make his way into this B-bomb site. He hasn't checked behind him. And BTN makes him pay the price. Three versus one. Mighty Whitey or Mighty Witty or whatever he wants to call himself <laughs> with the hat trick. And big round for Romania. They needed it. But Hungary, well, yeah. after winning, what was it, seven rounds in a row? They can buy a yeah. tank at the moment with all the money they've got in the bank. Basically, why he want the run for them with that picks on mid? That's exactly what they needed. Exactly, you got those uh, early frags and it opened the map for them. And Mighty and BTN opening the map for Romania. Are we going to see an inspired comeback from the Romanians? Let's wait and see. BTN is pushing out of beat, so uh, that's a good thing. It'll allow him to cut. Oh, hang on a second. Yeah. Uh, oh, Gabson. Good, good shot by him actually. I think it was poor by BTN and uh, Romania. They were two men up, and once again they've thrown it away against Hungary. It's not the first time they throw away a two-man advantage, and uh, I hope Hungary make them pay the price. Mighty Whitey on top of the thing, on on top of everything, for Romania once again, more or less evening the numbers back out. Hungary, of course, one man down despite that. Kimo's looking at mid. Good shot by him. And Flash 
He's all by himself now. He's making his way into that B-bomb site. Mighty White, he held that angle, but couldn't pull off the off shot, but pulls it off eventually. Another hat-trick for that man right there, Mighty Whitey, who I'm being told is not actually called Mighty Whitey. What's his name, then? Apparently he's called Whitey, White. I guess. <laughs> White. Yeah. White. He starts to feel confident on mid, and he's making that entry frags for his team. That's really good for Romania. I hope they, they can like win more rounds on City. Definitely. So it's interesting that Romania playing with a two-man AWP self as well. Obviously, White and Kimo, both the AWPers. Voda's going to eradicate Kimo, though. Lovely headshot from Voda. Is he going to get the three-man? No, the CT managed to escape. Three versus three. And Hungary made their way into Long with ease. So, one of the terrorists making his way back towards mid. BTN spots uh, the head of one of the terrorists in pit, takes him down. Easy stuff so far for the Romanians. Are they going to capitalize on this uh, advantage they've got? It's a minute advantage, but every little helps. So Talazi watching long from Graffiti. Mighty Whitey holding B all alone with that lovely Orc Lightning Strike and BTN holding mid with that Statrak M4. So the terrorists starting to push up long. Down goes Talazi thanks to Foda. And surely Mighty Whitey's going to watch crossover now. The smoke's out but oh they've left a little bit unsmoked. Is he going to get that frag? Yes he oh. does. Mighty Whitey once again. He's called himself Mighty Whitey. At the moment he's been extremely mighty. And there's the second frag for him. He's Mighty on fire. Whitey. He's on fire definitely. He definitely is. And, well, if he stays in this form, well, he's winning rounds all by himself for Romania at the moment. Uh, yeah, 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 indeed. In so, Hungary, they've still bought up, so fair play to them. Ooh, Mighty Whitey's been tagged. So, you know, it looks like the terrorists are going to go straight into this B-bomb site. Is Mighty Whitey going to be able to punish them? BTN with 1-2 from BTN. Oh, he was using that silence M4. Ran out of bullets. Mighty Whitey is well on the score sheet. 3 from BTN. Easy stuff. And Gabson, surely, he's not going to pull this off. He's already taken down Chemo. They know he's in low, lower tunnels. And here's a oh, lovely no-scope by him. But uh, not good enough. Not good enough from uh, Hungary. I can see what they were trying to do. But uh, at the end of the day... <laughs> I mean, what what do you think they could have done differently trying to go into the B-bomb site? It looked like they were slightly hesitant. They went in and changed their mind, perhaps at the last minute. Yeah. It, it were like two of them were down on B by BTN, and the rest of the three guys were like getting back. I don't know why. And uh, Mighty actually caught one of guard, and they were like three man advantage. So, are we going to see a Romania combat now? Fode has been tagged in uh, upper tunnels. But he will live to fight another day. Gonna throw that nade. As most of the terrorists look like they're going towards short. So Talazi looks more than prepared for that. They uh, they've had a change of mind actually. Flash is staying at long. No, no, they might commit to short actually. Dear me, these are confusing Hungarians at the moment, are they? Where are they gonna go, Hungarians? Come on. I'm sure Jaguar's frag hungry in the moment, so there's the first one. Mid to be pushed, spotted by BTN. He's gonna pick up that AK. And the push commences. Kimo oh, taken down by Twist2 after uh, Twist2 annihilated him. So Jaguar with one. Couldn't get the second. Ran out of bullets at the last moment there. Flash is still at mid. Two versus two. Twist2 is going to... Well, come on. You've got to do the important thing and get that big bomb down. His mate, of course, is somewhat trapped at the moment. Twist2, what are you doing? He was on the bomb site. He needed to plant. And, well, you know, he's, uh, he has to pay the price now. There he goes. I don't know about you, but I think Twisty made a mistake there. Yeah, no, Gabson actually made a mistake. He team killed his guy on short. If you did see it. I didn't actually, no, I thought it was a regular kill. He did team kill on his guy, teammate as well. But still, I don't think that's an excuse for the fact that Twisty's on a bomb site. He should get the bomb down, you know what I mean? Yeah. Anyway, so Kimo, ooh, just missed that opening shot. I wanted to uh, take a look at the scoreboard, but unfortunately we've gone uh, slightly into this round at the moment. Let's just wait things out and see how it develops. So all the terrorists on AKs, actually no, Foda's, Foda's on a Galil. Whilst uh, we see the same two AWP set up from Romania, which, you know, it's not very often you see two AWP set ups. 
uh, on Dust2 CP too, yeah. side. But you know, whatever floats their boat, it's working for them and fair play to them. So Hungry, they made their way into Long. What's going to come of it now? They only have uh, AKs and Galils to dispose of. As opposed to uh, their counterpart counter-terrorists, who have two orbs. So Zen's making his way out to short. He's been spotted by Mighty Whitey, but the shot wasn't fired and he's, uh, he hasn't gotten tagged. So he's going to start gradually making his way up to towards close short. Here we go then, here the push begins. Foda with that opening kill onto Talazi, Twist2 as well. He's going to make his way from Long2 from Twist2. And BTN is all by himself, the poor bloke. He does have uh, a silenced end four. A good shot from Zen onto short with the Gok. 6-9 is how the first half is going to finish. Important round for Hungary. None of them died. Um, but I don't think they'll be too happy with being 7-1 up in the first place. Yeah, And obviously giving it away to my 6 I think for many, I had a really good half, like with that comeback. We'll see what what they can do on this side. So let's just have a quick look at the scoreboard. Foda top in the scoreboard for Hungary. He's uh, definitely hungry for frags at the moment, with 16 to his name. Zen on 14, Flash with nine, Twister with 10, and Gamson with six. BTN and uh, top in the scoreboard for Romania, 13 kills. Mighty Whitey or Whitey with 11. Uh, Kimo with seven, Talazi on four, and uh, Jaguar on three. So back to the game then. The t oh, lovely one Ooh, USP cool. through the smoke. That's how you do it. From uh, Zen on to Jaguar, of course. So despite being on the A bomb site, Romania are a man down. Zen's making his way towards the top of the mid. Oh, he's going to look there. Who's going to get the better of each other here? Surely it's going to be Zen. No, it's going to be Talazi. But Flash finally returned the kill. So Hungry still one man down. They're playing this very aggressively onto short, actually. Yeah, Mighty Whitey's leveled things up to three versus three. Oh. Jumping Glock from Mighty Whitey. Is he going to have the hat trick? Yes, he is. Four man, maybe? Maybe not. Chemo got that last frag. But hey, CS is a team game. And uh, I'm sure Mighty Whitey won't complain too much. That was actually a really nice round from them. They were like three against four, and they decided like to push two on short and get control of it, and they win the round. I think credit has to go out again to Whitey. He's been in superb form. I'll tell you what, he wasn't that good uh, on Mirage, but you know what they say? Form is temporary, class is permanent, and uh, you know Whitey has been class so far. There's no other way to to uh, describe it. So now, of course, the way the game financially works, I think most of you guys are aware of that the uh, the, the Romanians will have the uh, weapon advantage now. Twisty riding graffiti, lovely shot by him with that lovely gun smoke. P250, mighty Whitey with that white out MP7. Come take Twisty down. Is he going to get the hat trick? The answer to that is no. The Jaguar. The good news is he's picked up that bomb. And he's uh, not only picked up the bomb, but taken down Zen as well. Kimo getting in on some of the action as well. So Flash, last man standing. I was uh, pre slowly preparing myself to announce his death, but uh, maybe not. Maybe it's uh, a bit too soon. He's made his way back to T-Spawn. Oh, look at this. He's rescued an AK. So yeah. I was a bit surprised that he was saving, because I thought all he had was a P250. But you can't blame him for saving an AK. He'll definitely aid the Hungarians in the next round. But Kimo is, uh, oh, Kimo's very, very close to this CT now. He's going to get the better of who? And it's going to be Kimo. He couldn't save that AK. And Romania, wow, 9-8. Who would have guessed Guessed it? 9-8. Romania have pulled it back, and they were 7-1 down at one point. Yeah. But that was a really nice eco run by Hungary, guys. They managed, like, to take three guy, guys out and almost save an AK. So, 5-5 five, five still, BTN has been tagged, Hungary all on an eco after losing that previous round of course. So AKs are spraying left, right and centre, well typically anti-eco stuff. But Twistu is going to get the first kill too from Twistu, he's been very very good with that P250 but BTN is going to punish him, I'm not going to let you take down two of my teammates and get away with it is what BTN says, and 4 versus 3. Mighty Whitey making his way onto short slowly but surely. He spots one of the CTs at mid. He's going to throw that nade. Deals a little bit of damage onto Gabson. And one hit is all he needs. But Flash and his teammate are pushed outside the back along. There it is. Bomb down. And if Hungry pull this off, wow, it looks very lightly. BTN, the last man standing. One shot from BTN. They know he's in uh, lower tunnels. And he also knows he's got a few to his top right. Three versus one. 
He is only on 14 HP, but he's against up against three CTs on th with three pistols. So, you know, anything's possible. He's going to smoke double doors. And he's going to flash mid. He knows that one of the CTs is there. So, uh, what's he going to do then? He's uh, peeking mid. 20 seconds to go. If he's going to try and pull this clutch off, he's uh, got to put his running, running, running boots on. Make his way towards mid now. He's gonna get the first spot of who? No, I don't think he played that right. And, uh, you know, uh, Hungry punished him. And what an eco round for Hungry. That's gonna absolutely tear Romania's finances apart. Well, they actually bought it off, like, third round. I don't know why. And he went straight to short alone. And he died first from twist. And, I don't know. Really big mistake by him. Exactly, and you know, count straight. One little mistake can uh, more than often cost you a massive round. And that's exactly what we saw for Romania from there. So, uh, Kimo's going to get the first frag for Romania. He's up against Gabson Zorp, who's uh, missed quite a few shots, actually. Is he going to be third time lucky? Yes, he is. And he's being pushed uh, once again from Jaguar. Jaguar takes down one, but Foda deals with uh, the rest of the terrorists to make it 11 8. Typical anti eco, and we're finally seeing AK 47s being bought from the terrorists. We'll see what they can do now. So, no AWPA for the terrorists, I believe. Yeah. But I'll tell you what, Hungry definitely have an AWPA. The opening frag <laughs> only 10 seconds in from Gabson through the smoke as well. Fair play to him, but the CTs have pushed all the way through Long and they've died. So that means that Long's pretty much open. Gabson holding mid. They know he's there because of he, of course, got a frag earlier on. Mighty White has made his way towards Double Doors, but maybe not the right decision. They got two frags at Long and went mid to B. Maybe they expected the B players to have rotated quicker. So, Zen's pushing out along. Talazi and Jago are both on short, but Foda's playing quite far away, so they will not have heard that. They may have heard this smoke now. Zen's in T-spawn, and all the Romanians have to do, even if they lose this round, right, they need to get that bomb down. It'll help them out financially. You know, it might work well for them. So Foda is going to throw that flash onto the bomb site. He's looking towards short for that head of Talazi. Oh, he spots it. Oh, and he takes him out as well. So, Foda making his way towards Jaguar. Zen backed him up from long. And we're going to have round number 12 for Hungry. Who are hungry for kills at the moment. Ha ha ha. Nice one. <laughs> Thank you. Well, they need to get that up for Whitey, so if he can open some bombs or at least mid to challenge uh, Gapson, if I'm not mistaken. So they can actually have some chance. So, be nice to increase the volume level. I'm assuming you're on about the volume level of the in-game ones. That doesn't for you, so hopefully it's works out better for you right now. Right, okay, so Gapson got the opening frag and he's being pushed two from Gapson. Good stuff from Gapson. Talazi making his way onto short. And this is too, uh, too, too quiet. But anyways, um, uh, let me just sort this out. Typical eco blast. Right, there we go. Hopefully that's better for you. So. Keep on he's on B, they know he's there. All he has is that P250. <laughs> And there we go, 13 8. So, of course, Hungary, this is the second half. Hungary won map number one, 16 5. And if Hungary rack up three more rounds on the board, well, they're going to uh, find themselves qu fully qualified for the European Championships later on. Yeah. Obviously, after knocking Romania out. So, now, you're the Romanian team leader. Tell me what you'll be saying to your team. Well, to be honest, uh I don't know, probably to keep calm and that the game is not over yet and that we can still win. I was going to say, the second I asked you that, well, the terrorists pushed down Sniper's Alley and, uh, well, uh, gave Gabs a few to pick him. <laughs> That's probably exactly what their team leader wasn't telling them to do. Unless, of course, the terrorist who uh, intelligently decided to push down Sniper's Alley was the team leader himself. Which may have explained the performance on... Uh, the Mirage. But anyways, let's stop insulting specific CSGO players. Gabson as well, he's been terrific at mid. Normally we uh, 
Spoke about Mighty Whitey open mid, but Gabson's been just as good, if I'm fully honest. Another yeah. shot from him. He's gonna get a hat trick from Gabson. No, the fourth from Gabson. Wow, well played from him. Didn't notice it was number four, and Jaguar is the last one standing. So, he definitely knows Gabson's there. He's gonna play a little bit through the door. Not good enough, not good enough. 14 rounds for Hungary, Romania. I th oh, wait, what's this? Oh, I think CS Go skipped. Skipped to beat. Um, it looked like there was no uh, fly time for a second, but anyway, yeah. Twist 2's bought an auto sniper before uh, getting. He uh, took out Mighty Whitey, sorry, before getting dropped thanks to Talaz. Gabson as well. Getting on the score sheet. And Hungary, they look like they've got it under control. They're two men up, but, you know, we've seen them throw away being two men up before, so let's just uh, s s see what happens. It's only a matter of time, surely, until Hungary get round number 15 on the board, then uh, perhaps round number 16. Foda is in, in a bit of an open area now, and uh, Kimo could make him pay the price. He's throwing that nade, it's not close enough to Foda, but Foda's going to return with a nade of his own, blows Kimo to smithereens, and surely Jaguar's going to fall to his death. There it is. 15-8. So far, and I'll tell you what, Marco. Remember, I predicted 16-9, and you predicted yeah, yeah. 16 <laughs> So uh, let's just see what happens. Uh, I hope Romania win this one because uh, <laughs> obviously my 16-10 may may come true. So Romania, they're all going towards B, bar Mighty Whitey. Let's see how mighty he can be on B by himself. So Zen's going to take on BTN2 from Zen Foda spraying. What's auto direct to show me? Stupid auto direct. So three versus one. Gabson gets that frag. Down oh, goes yeah. Talaz. 16 8 is the score, ladies and gents, to Hungary. 2 0 altogether. Um, you know, uh, you predicted 16 10. I predicted 16 9. And I hate to say it, but despite pulling off a nice comeback, the Romanians threw it away. Indeed, indeed. They were not confident after that pistol round. Something went wrong. I don't know what, but. They had a chance. They were coming back from city side. I guess Hungary is a stronger team. Yeah, I guess so. A lot of people were saying uh, regarding the fact that Hungary are. Uh, um, uh, that Romania, sorry, are only a mixed team as opposed to Hungary, who perhaps have they played together before. So I'm not 100% sure regarding. Uh, that information, whether they really have played together before, but it definitely looked like it, and uh, Mighty Whitey, for me, was my man of the match. I'm not sure who uh, your man of the match is going to be. If you're still well, with me, there you are, yeah. Yeah, I think Gapson or Whitey, I don't know, Gapson had really strong ground with that up as well as Whitey, but I think Gapson is a little bit stronger on this map, was stronger on this map with up than Whitey, but he managed to take more frags, to be honest, but... Uh, Whitey took... Uh, uh, took rounds for his team. That matters, you know? Yeah, definitely. But anyways, that's it from us guys. Uh, apologies about going into uh, the first match three rounds late. Again, uh, nothing we could do about it. And as always, remember to follow the channel, and uh, thanks for watching. Bye, guys.